Okay, so here's the model of a reception desk I've created, and I'm going to export this now. So I'm going to go to File and Export, it's just off your screen. Um, I'm going to export it as a 3D model, and I'm going to save mine onto my desktop. I've got a folder I've been playing around with called SketchUp Tests, and I've got one here called Collada File. So I'm going to basically call this Reception Desk Google. Um, I've already got one called that, so I'm going to put Reception Desk Google 2 and it's saving as a Collada file which is a DAE so I'm going to hit export now that will have gone into that folder and I'm going to now open up my um, Sweet Home 3D and show you how to bring that in okay so here I am in Sweet Home I've just got a really basic room there's nothing in there apart from the person looking with the camera and the actual chair so what I want to do is I want to bring in that um, Google reception desk I just made. So if I go to furniture and I click on import, fur uh, import furniture, it's going to ask me to choose myself a model. So I'm just going to point at where I saved it. So I put it in my Collada files and I called it reception desk Google 2. Click open. There's the preview of it. Am I happy that all of these faces are the right way around? I think they are. I don't need to swap them about. So I'll hit continue. Now I can change sizes and do things here if I choose to um, and if this was going to be a door or a window or a staircase that I'd made myself I'd change these ticks. I can also tell it where I want to save this so if I want to add it to the catalogue so I can use it again later on I'm going to put it into the miscellaneous section. So I'm going to add this to miscellaneous um, and I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to hit finish and it's put it up here if I drag it into this area and I'm going to rotate it around maybe move it back a little bit towards the wall now I can't see it at the moment because I'm facing the wrong way if I move my little person and I'm going to put it in front and rotate that around and there you go you can see let's move this back how my reception desk fits into that room now you can obviously do this with any kind of furniture you make of your own. As with other things, if you wanted to go in and edit it, I could double click, it takes me into the properties of that desk that I've made. So if I want to change the size of it, I can change the size of it. If I want to change the materials, I click on the modify button, and these are all of the surfaces that I put on. So if I want to change any of those, I can go into the textures of them. So if I wanted this wood to be different, even though I'm not in SketchUp anymore, I can click on here and I can choose different features. Maybe I want to make it out of grass or out of marble or something. I can do any of those things with it and change that design that I've already put in there. 